Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some new mods. First up, your updates. The first one is Heavy Duty Shelf by Domindina. 5.35 megabyte on the download. And it's in the change log saying fixed shadows, objects didn't cast shadows. And the second update is to the class Lexian 8900-5300 by Geft25. Now, in the change log for this, it's got quite a few things. So it's added terror track with spoke design, optimized driving behavior, added animations, improved particle system, adjusted chaff distribution, optimized ladders, optimized pipes, adjusted exhaust system, improved view on the cutter from the cab, added new configurations, beacon light, field sensor and ladder, optimized model, adjusted materials and adjusted prices to the base game. So that's your updates for today. Where the mods are concerned, we have got a new map, the Angevin countryside. So this is based in Angers in Maine et Loire. I hope I pronounced that correctly. A French map. Excellent. Obviously, we won't go over that in this video. So we'll have a little map tour later on. So keep an eye out for that. Now on to the first mob we're going to have a look at today. We've got this in front of us. This is the Rustic Fence Pack by Ragman2414. 0.59 megabyte on the download and you've got a one gate a two gate and then a fence section so you're going to find these in the construction menu under decorations and under fences so we'll scroll all the way along to find them we right at the end there we are so you've got gate there we are right gate 550 and that's going to give you a four meter gate then got the gate for 800, that's going to give you a 6 metre gate. And then we've got the fence section, 75 per block. Section, what, what do you want to call it? Panel, that's better. Right, they look alright. Nice little trellis style to them. Open them up. Excellent. I mean, when placing these down, it did have that snapping feature like the vines do. So you just put it near the end of the fence post and... Just drag it out. Excellent. Right, next up we've got Concrete Fence and Gates. This is by Camillos0397, 3.6 megabyte on the download. And again, you're going to find these in the construction menu and then under decorations and fences. So there we are. So the options you've got here, you've got the first gate here. This one. We'll zoom in, that's better. 1100 to buy. Then we've got the Rusty Style Gate. Oh, and the camera's playing off. There we are. That's going to cost you a grand to buy. Then we've got the concrete wall. Once the camera packs itself in. There we are. The, the concrete wall, 500 per section. Excellent. Open them up. Very nice indeed. Obviously, these... doesn't say if it's got any collisions on these. Although I'd imagine there is. What I mean by collisions is... If you put crops one side, is it going to flow through to the other? But that that'd be all right for putting inside a barn sort of thing, keeping your crops separate. Excellent. Right, next up we've got Water Tower Rosnovsky 25 cubic meters VBR 25U-12. Oh, that's a long name. This is by Ross Agrotech, 2.05 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this in the construction menu and under buildings and containers there we are two grand to buy there we are two grand to buy that's better place it down and obviously you can get your water from it so you pull up get your tanker there and load your water in it doesn't say anywhere on the website whether it's free or not so from that i can only imagine that you're going to be charged for it but no small footprint Excellent. It's a shame you can't get up that ladder. No, definitely can't. No, can't get up the ladder. Never mind. We'll carry on. All right, next up we've got the Shed Solar Panels. This is by Matej Mods. 5.54 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this in the construction menu under Buildings and Sheds. So we'll scroll along to find it. What these sheds have got in here? I really do need to... Have a clear out, I think. All right, there we are. Shed with solar panels, 45 grand to buy. That's going to give you 2,880 a month. 
I've got this on easy. So new farmer. Obviously that will change depending on what your mode you've got on the go. But that's alright, that is. Obviously go inside. Drive through option for you. What's this over here? Ah, it's a light switch. Turn the lights on. Excellent. I mean, normally you'd have like a light switch trigger anywhere in the uh, building, but you got to actually go over to the switch for that. Over to the breaker box. Excellent. Obviously, you got the solar panels on top. Can they give you some money? Very nice indeed. All right, next up, we got the BGA 50 kilowatt. This is by Camillos 0397, 2.91 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find this in the construction menu and on the productions and factories. So we'll scroll back along to find it. Where are we? Oh, what's going on with the camera? Ah, there we are. 135 grand to put down. Excellent. Does all your usual BGA goodness so we've got the production chain menu point there we then got the slurry unloading point there you then unload all the other stuff into that hopper and then you'll take out your digestate from there excellent i mean that's got quite a small footprint for a bga so that could be very nice indeed excellent Right, next up we've got the BGA 60 kilowatt biogas plant. This is by Mephius. It's 7.16 megabyte on the download. And again, you're going to find this in a construction menu on under productions and factories. 150 grand to place down. Obviously does, like the previous one, usual BGA shenanigans. So you've got your production chain menu there. Loading into the hopper there. And then down the side... You've got the load and unload point. So load in for your slurry and then unload for your digestate at the same point. And there is a little bunker silo there. Although it's not coming up with anything for chaff. So you might just dump a load of manure down there ready to go in. That's alright that is. Again, a slightly bigger on the footprint than the other one. But not that big in comparison to some of the other BGAs. Excellent. Right, so our last mod for the day, the Lizard Work Cap. This is by Rick Black labeled TWD Modding, 0.59 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this on the Telehandler Tools. Excellent. So obviously you hook this up to the front of your Telehandler and then you can make that into a cherry picker. So if you've got some work that you need high access to, or even so, thinking about it now, if there's some of those collectibles that you can't quite get to, put this on the front of your telehandler. Jobs are good and Excellent. 3,200 to buy, so nice and cheap. No options. Comes in the black metal. Very nice indeed. Right, that's all your mods for today. Obviously no vehicles and it is just placeables, apart from that telehandler basket thing. But there is one benefit to that. No three meters. No three meter warnings. Excellent. All right. Drop it in the comments below. Which is your favorite mod for today? Which one you think thinking of using? If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.